Cancer. Cancer, welcome. It's that time again. Uh, we're going to do a general read for you. We're going to look at a few things, looking at your current energy, followed by your desire, outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We'll clarify all those cards, and at the end we'll get three more cards around the read just to make sure that we have everything on the table that you may need. That said, let's get into the read and see what is going on for you. Three of Swords energy. Uh, a little bit of a breakup going on, maybe. Uh, some heartache. Um, <clears throat> the world shows up is your desire. Makes sense to me. Super duper success. Love it. Uh, that outcome is the Knight of Wands. So, taking some type of action, what's working for you is you working with the Three of Pentacles. What you need to be aware of is the Tower. So, something could be getting shaken up for you. Interesting. Okay, Judgment just flipped over. High Priestess and the Five of Pentacles. Um, I almost get that for this particular read, this heartbreak comes from making a major choice. Uh, I almost get that you are worried about losing somebody that is in this high priestess energy. Uh, somebody that's kind of flighty. That's really not... Um, really sort of non-committal. And it feels like mm, you're not winning in this. Um, I feel for you. The world is what you desire. And it looks like you're trying to hold on to um, what you've done so far with the Seven of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. And you don't really want to lose what you've started by the looks of it. And so you're still hoping for that success, uh, that achievement, and you're being diligent about it. The Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands to me is move out, move in, move on. And we have the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. And there is somebody that could be coming in for you, uh, even though you may be anxious about this current situation, that is more suited to... Um, reciprocity is... It's such a shitty word. In uh, some ways, it's great. Uh, but equal give and take. Let's put it that way. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Chariot, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. The Chariot is your energy. And as I look at this, um, the Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess is actually your card. Um, it doesn't really change the read at all. Now, if I look at this Three of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, we see that your abundance is building. And that is what is working for you. Period. Um, you're putting in the effort, and it's starting to build. This could also be a relationship here uh, that is in the works. And speaking of relationships, we have the Tower, and it's clarified by the Lovers, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Swords. Um, you need to be aware of this. Uh, something sh... Sorry. Something shitty is coming down the pipe um, with this relationship. And what you thought it was may not be what it is. This seems to be that if you're going through this shakeup, you're going to really analyze this relationship. You could see that this is actually something that is very important to you with the Hierophant here and figure out how to actually move together and move... Um, move together, uh, move in together, get this commitment going and be successful at it. So it's almost like with the tower here, I feel that this is crumbling and this is coming in for you. The last three cards, oh my gosh, two of cups, king of cups and the sun. So if I look at uh, queen of cups being your energy, king of cups is like the masculine side of that. Uh, this is the creativity and that sort of almost... I want to say otherworldly connection that uh, you are being blessed with, with the sun here. Uh, 
<laughs> it's a beautiful read. Um, that's what I have for you today, Cancer. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down or leave me a comment in the section below. Uh, and for those that have not subscribed, please do so. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.